Well, could your teen be headed to jail for what many consider teenage flirting? It is called sexting, teens taking nude or semi-nude photos of themselves and sending them to other teens. In Greensburg, Pennsylvania, girls and boys, and three boys, I should say, were slapped with child porn charges after those girls sent the boys racy pictures of themselves. They could now be treated as sex offenders forced to register. And it is happening more and more in more places across this country. So is that right? Our schools and playgrounds are being preyed upon, but not by gangs or terrorists, but a new enemy, the sexter. His target, your children. His weapon, the cell phone. I tracked down a convicted sexter in order to peer into his mind and learn his motives. You sexted your girlfriend, did you not? Oh, no, 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 we haven't had sex yet. Are you denying that you sexted her? Mm, no. I, I mean, I've gotten some over-the-shirt action, but that's about it. How about you tell me your version of events? Well, um, you know, I had just turned 18, and I had been dating this girl for about three months or so. Um, and uh, while I was working uh, one day, I, I worked at this Mexican restaurant, and I wanted to uh, show her this, uh, this gross burrito this guy ordered. Well, so I, so I took a picture of it because, you know, it was a gross burrito and I was just trying to have fun with her and stuff like that. And, and you know, I, I took a picture of it with my phone and I sent it to her. And, but then the next day, you know, the cops woke me up. I, I get this bang on my door and my mom's freaking out. They're saying, they're here for you, Johnny. They're here for you. And so I go downstairs and, 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 I, and I talk to the officer and I said, well, well, what's wrong, officer? And he says, um, well the mother of your girlfriend uh, found the picture you sent her and uh, apparently your girlfriend has a food fetish. I, I didn't even know this. I mean, I just thought she was this normal girl. And the mother freaked out and she called the cops on us. And Well, I mean, uh, long story short, I mean, they were charging me with, you know, soliciting a, a minor for a lewd act and well, now I'm a registered sex offender. So then you see yourself as the victim here. I don't know. I, I, I guess you can say I'm ambivalent on the issue. I mean, if I could have it my way, uh, I wish there was more uh, gray area in which they would operate. I mean, I had no idea she had the fetish. Uh, so I really shouldn't be blamed. I mean, it, it wasn't like I was, you know, knowingly trying to get sex from her. It was just kind of an inconvenient accident. It became clear to me the sexter was a more agile opponent than I had imagined so I decided to confront him directly with what he'd done. I want you to look at some images and tell me how they make you feel. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just pictures from a menu. I mean, it's just, it's just food. You say that those images are fine to distribute to children, so then are you not also willing to distribute these images to children? No! Oh my god! These are just... These are just photos of, of a group of 12-year-old girls getting serviced by a big black man. Oh my god, that's not legal! You claim to be shocked by these images, but are these not the exact sorts of things that you distributed to your underage girlfriend? What? <laughs> no, no, I mean... I sent her just food. I wasn't sending her fetish porn. I, I mean, this one's got a chain around her neck. Having been shown the error of his ways, does our sexual predator feel any remorse for what he's done? I was just trying to get my girlfriend to laugh. Maybe she'd make out with me then. I wasn't trying to have sex with her. Well, I mean, you know, uh, eventually, but like, not, not then. I mean, she was only 17. Rose. For Fox News, this is Emmanuel de la Juega.